Hello and welcome back, I'm Rattiru Gaming, and today we are playing Koala Break, another Game Maker game. So guess what guys, my horrible audio will go away because I got a new microphone, so next video you will be able to hear it. Uh, last one with this old crappy headset. But anyways, let's begin. Uh, so this game looks kind of like a simple maze game, but the thing is you control all three of these koalas, and you got you have to navigate them through the level in a way where the, you know they will not die um, and get to these exits. So you can see TNT is a hazard. This is just the example level they gave in the book. I recreated it. Um, the blue exits are only one-time use, but the red exits you can use as much as you want. Um, and then I'll progress to the next level. There's also saws for hazards. Um, I am super rusty at this game, by the way, so I may not know what to do. Uh, this game does require a lot of strategy. Go right here. I'm recommended to focus on one crawl at once, um, and the other one typically shouldn't be a problem. Gotta get in there, and second level complete. Uh, this third level's hard. Um, you can push around rocks. That was really weird, the TNT, and there's also locks um, that you can unlock, blue ones will lock forever, yellow locks uh, come back after 5 seconds I think, and red locks um, come back as soon as you stop stepping. Oh, it's that detonator that causes the sound, so as long as I'm standing on one it'll create that weird sound. Alright, third level complete. Uh, this one's a little harder. Um, Navigate that. Alright, do that. Check that you shove them against the wall. Just so get one through. And then another one through. Although I don't think you get them through first. And then you bring this guy back. And then this guy will come around. And then sit there, wait for him. Oh. Okay, that's how you do that one. There we go. Do some manipulation, and then you can take him right to the exit. Alright, that's the first four levels completed, but this next level is really hard. Uh, I know how to solve this, but it's pretty complex. So first what you need to do is you need to move this rock, get rid of that TNT, that causes a few problems. Oh yeah, and then you take uh, one of these, oh yeah, if you push, you can push the rocks into TNT, uh, but then it disappears, and then you take this guy over here around this little corner, and then he activates that switch, then you take this guy over here, and you put him in here, and then you have to go right here, so that there's that one exit. Oh, frick. Whoops. Right, that's, you have to time that. This, this level is really hard, because it takes a lot of strategy. And you want to ideally do it when the one's not about to die. Oh, oh wait, whoa, that didn't break, because I didn't take it there. Here, pretty simple. And then, while well, you work with this guy over here, you can see the lock will open. And then you gotta time it just right. There we go. Because you have to have one that's over there before the lock goes. I gotta time this right to get him down in that corner. Can you calibrate these guys? 
there. There we go. So now what I have to do is I have to move that guy down, but I have to do it at the right time to get in there. That This is the hardest part of the level. I have to move him down and him down. I'm gonna wait for that, that saw to go back right over there so that way I have as much time as possible to get there. And then you're fine. Well, for a while. Alright, I'm gonna do it next time. I'm gonna time this perfectly. I have to move him down twice. So that way he's safe. And then, nope, that's TNT, right. We can't do that. So I have to move him down with just enough time to move him out of the way and then the guy down there. So I gotta focus on getting the bows. That's the hard part of this. Right, you gotta take this guy down here, get rid of the TNT, and then he has to run for his life. I'm gonna take this one. Uh, ideally, not when that's there. Blow that up. And then, well, one of these guys can go over here. Take that. Push that over. Do that, alright. Then I have to align them, which is pretty simple. Okay, that's not that simple. I have to do the same alignment trick again. Alright. Since now that he's down here, I don't have to worry about him. There we go. Right, now I have to time him precisely so that this guy can get out, well, safely, and the saw doesn't kill him. Because I have to move hit one, the one, that one guy, or if I really wanted to, I could just move that guy out of there and make him do all the hard work. Because he's going to be out of there anyways, and then take him down to the exit. Oh, that causes problems too. No, it shouldn't. And then move him down there so you can activate the blue switch, releasing both of those locks, and then all the other ones just can just avoid obstacles. Oh yeah, that's the problem, because the red guy has to... This guy has to be the first to leave. Alright. We have to make our run precisely. So ideally, once that saw gets over there is when we want to do it. But we'll have to chase the saw as we go. This is going to be tricky. So probably once the saw... Probably be a good idea once the saw comes, are we? We'd have to time it in a way where we get out when the saw's in. So let's do it when it's right under us. And what? No! Oh, I did it too soon. Sorry about that, I hit the mic. Alright, you can know. Oh yeah, it'll bounce off rocks. You... Well, you need to go. Chill. Alright, you can go up here. This is hard. That's fine. Well, oh, actually, if I do this, I can... Make sure he stays. There we go. Alright, now we just have to do the same thing again. We just have to make sure he doesn't move. That, well, it has to go over our entrance. Now I can make the... No! Oh, it's TNT, right. Oh, that's what makes that... That's why you can't do that. Ooh, right. I did it... I thought there would be an easier way, but you can't do that. That's what that TNT is specifically there for. Hmm. That's tricky. That's why you can't do that. That's why you can't use the same one. So you have to use the one above, but you have to time it so that the saw gets neither of them. I've done it once. It's beatable, trust me. It's just very, very difficult. You can do this in a way that doesn't... I do this... I can get this guy down here so I don't have to do the alignment trick in the end. Alright. 
So now we have to time it where this guy can get down there. He can move that way. But this guy doesn't get sawed up. So, oh yeah. Well, there's TNT. That's not gonna help. Oh, I know what we have to do. We have to time it so that that guy can get down there, but this guy has to go up. Oh, I know how you do it. You... You smash down, then you go right, and then you have to get that guy up into there as fast as possible. And then once you... you have to... well, you have to get him down in there. Like, go here... well, here, I'll use my mouse since you can see it. I was using my finger. You have to go down here, and then through here, so that way that guy can get up with the guy below. It's a very long process, because you have to avoid two saws. Oh, this is tricky, because I have to plan it. I've done it once before. And that one saw on the bottom is a big problem, because I have to avoid both koalas with it, and they're in different places. Because I could just start it once, you know, he goes by there again. That actually is right. If I go by there, then he, then this guy can come back down. I have to time it so that it works for both of them. Alright, come on. Oh, never mind. I'm going to try it again. I didn't do it. I'm going to press down twice when it does that. And I have to make sure the other saw... Alright, and then... Nope, I did it wrong. Dang it, that locks back. Alright, I have to do it, and I have to time it precisely. I have to do it right when the opportunity strikes. Alright, let's see. Okay, that was not good, because it was passing right under my yellow wall. Although, I have a better idea. I know that kind of screwed things up, but what I can do is move that guy, like so... And if I time, well, he'll still he'll still be there, but he'll be closer to the down area. It would be too much to time it. But see, now he's just a little bit closer. All right, he's closer, but they're at the same height now, so that makes it easy. Uh, all right, let's try it again. Most of this is just me planning, because I'm kind of like trying to hype myself up for this, and... No! Oh, I forget about that. I have to push him up back into it before I make my downward move. Oh, now I'm to redo this level again. Oh, wait, you need to do that, too. And then you can go here... And then you can do this, and then that, and then that. And then you can go... Ah! Nope. Should not have done that. Oh my gosh, this level is very hard. It is possible, though. I've done it, and I'm, I'm going to try to do it on camera. It <laughs> requires me cutting a little bit, because this is kind of going to take a long time. You're just really hyping yourself up for it. You gotta do it specifically. I really didn't design this with any intention, and then I realized I made a really great level. Whoops, did that wrong. Wait for the saw to come back. Then we can move through. Oh, don't follow it. Nope. Oh, I forgot I did that wrong. I made a wrong move. Oh, why are you... How did you get down there? Alright, well I made one mistake in the movements. Usually it's not too bad if you make a mistake. That saw to come. I can move him right here. And time it perfectly. Alright, time for them to not die. I'm gonna do the movement trick where I try to push the guy down all the way. As as I could. Push that back. Now the other guy's not out. Dang it, that messed up. Oh, you know what I maybe, what I did probably was I was sitting on, I pushed him to the yellow, that area, and then I, 
I forced him down. Because it wouldn't really matter, would it? We could try that strategy, where I just force that guy into there, and then I focus on the other thing. I could probably do it once it hits that edge. Yes! It worked! Got down here. Alright, make sure I can move. Yep. You did it! Bro, you saved the entire world. Omnia. Now I have to get him out of here. Which is gonna be tricky. Shouldn't be too bad, though. No! Oh, I was about to do it. That saw, though. Alright, well, now I know the strategy. I relearned it. Oh, that was horrible. Suck. Time to do this all over again. No, I don't do that. There we go. Alright, now I just need to get Guy in there. So once that hits the end... Nope, I'm gonna try that next time. This video is already getting so long because of me planning. Alright, wait for that one to hit the end. And then, nope, gotta do it again. I wasn't prepared. Alright, hit, let it hit. Let's actually do it once it hits there. No! Oh, that hitbox! I hate the hitbox of these saws. I have to do this just because alignment matters. I hate this stupid hitbox of these saws. Get up there. Alright. Gotta wait for that saw to hit the edge and get this guy down here. Once it passes that. Um, oops, that went wrong. Whoops. Whoops. Whoopsie. Did that wrong. Okay. Now I've got to do the re-movement position thing. Right. And keep him there. Alright, now I can retry this. I have to move him to that corner. But right when that saw hits the specific point. Yes, I did it. I made him. I got him through. Now you can move for free. Alright, now it's time to move. It's not going to be possible to get him over, so I'm going to have to do this in two steps. i got to get him above that, and then... Alright, good. I can do that. Now I have to get him below. Come on. There we go, opportunity. Do this. Let that go. Oh yeah, you can't deactivate switches, by the way. Uh oh, oh. I gotta do this in a specific way, otherwise it won't work. Oh, if I do this, this will be fine. guy out. I'll wait here. I don't know. I just feel like sitting right below it. This guy over. Back here. And down. And we beat the final level. That was hard. Very hard. But I saved all the koala bears. That's an angry scientist. Looks really weird. He he reminds me of Doofenshmirtz, sort of like his distant cousin. I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye.